Museums are really repositories of cultural heritage. These are the things we care about, the things we want to preserve, they're the things that connect us to our past. As conservators, we are charged with understanding these objects, figuring out how to make these things last as long as possible. The field of conservation and, and restoration uh, has evolved over time. Back in the 17th century, when the collector Giustiniani had those sculptors make the missing pieces to create a whole figure again, that was his goal. Nowadays, we don't necessarily approach it that way. If an original arm is lost, we might choose not to try to recreate that because we don't know what that original arm exactly looked like. And we have a different aesthetic now, too. If you consider the Venus de Milo, we have a sculpture in the Louvre in France, which is considered to be one of the most beautiful objects on the planet with missing arms. Sometimes art historians and conservators choose to interpret a certain moment in time in the life of an ancient object. And, and sometimes they'll take off everything that isn't original. And uh, there are other examples from this collection where they've done just that. They've removed everything that was not original to the ancient sculpture. And that's not the way we're approaching it. We see the history of Justiniani and the history of collecting and cataloging your collection and preserving ancient works as a really valuable story to tell. And so we are, are putting as much care and attention into preserving all of the replacement parts that were carved in the uh, 17th century as we are the ancient parts that are 2,000 years old.